Diagnostic laboratories have long used a simple tool called group testing, also known as pooling or pooled testing, to quickly screen populations for certain low prevalence infectious diseases. Group testing pools biological specimens from many people so that an entire group can be tested at once. If the test comes back negative, the whole group is cleared in just one step. If the test is positive, algorithms can help divide the group for retesting to pinpoint the infected individuals. But with the development of multiplex assays, which simultaneously test for multiple diseases, screening has become more complex, and the most efficient algorithm for chasing down positives isn't always clear. Now, researchers have developed a way to identify which algorithm can get to the right answer. The simplest algorithm has just two stages. Non-overlapping pools of specimens are tested, and then all people in each positive pool are retested. In this scenario, if 100 specimens are divided into two groups and one group tested positive, all 50 specimens in that group would be retested. Although that's a lot less testing than if the pooling hadn't been done, the researchers argue there's still room for improvement. Using higher stage algorithms to further divide retesting pools, they say, is one way to maximize efficiency. But how can a laboratory figure out whether a higher stage algorithm is best for their particular situation? To help answer this question, the researchers devised a way to directly compare different testing algorithms, including higher stage algorithms. Their method determines the average number of tests a given algorithm should require before testing starts. The algorithm's overall sensitivity and specificity are also calculated in advance. This allows laboratories to determine which strategy is most efficient while maintaining a high level of accuracy. As a proof of principle, the team used computer simulations to apply the process with a multiplex assay that's used around the world to screen for chlamydia and gonorrhea. They showed that moving from a two-stage to a three-stage algorithm consistently reduced how much testing was required by as much as 13% in the scenarios they examined. Overall, the work shows that by identifying the best algorithm to use for testing, the efficiency of identifying positives can be maximized. This, in turn, helps minimize the time and cost needed to screen for infectious diseases.